Greetings YouTube, I got a battle here against Ace of Keys, another member of the Battling Academy. So he led off with his Red Rook, I led off with 165 turns. 165 turns can't do that much. So I decided to switch out into Arsonist, my Volcarona. I predict a switch into Jellicent, so I switch out into Tentacruel. And he does switch out into Jellicent, which is fucking cool, because I can hit it with Giga Drain. And I do, and Giga Drain takes a big chunk out of Jellicent's health. Um, a fair bit, not a whole lot, but still. I'll take what I can get. He will wisp my Tentacruel, I'm not sure why he will wisp my Tentacruel. I mean, Tentacruel won't hurt, won't get hurt that much from the burn. He decides to back out of there and goes into Gliscor. Kind of a bad move on his part because my Tentacruel is packing Ice Beam, and Gliscor being 4x weak to Ice will get its shit ripped apart. I think he knows this and switches out into his Zapdos. And, but unfortunately Zapdos is also weak to Ice Beam. I land a KO with a critical hit. Burn and Life Orb are slowly taken away at my health. I decide to back out and go into Wrecking Ball, my Ferrothorn. Yeah, I'm still using a lot of the same team members. This is basically the same team I fought Siliano with. You know, the guy whom I had the 165 turn Star War. That's why Zapdos is called 165 turns. But yeah, he switches out to Gliscor, and I go for Bulldoze for some stupid reason. I have absolutely no idea what Bulldoze was going to do. I don't think he has a fire type on his team. I go for Bulldoze again. That was a misclick. Um, I was lagging pretty bad, and so sometimes when I lag, if I click a button twice, it'll do that attack twice in a row. So, yeah, that's that. Anyways, I switch out into Zapdos and try to hit it with Hidden Power Ice. He goes for Swords Dance. To boost his attacking stat. He goes for Ice Fang. Does quite a bit to Zapdos. I go for Hidden Power Ice, which does even more. So yeah, Zapdos gets that leftovers recovery. Gliscor gets poison heals. Recovery. He decides to back out into Red King, his Conkulder. I go for Hidden Power Ice, does not do that much. I predict a rock type attack coming, so I switch out into Gallade, I think. Yeah, I switch out into Gallade. There he is! The rock type attack does come in the form of Stone Edge. You know, it's amazing how much experience can do for a person. I mean, I'm only able to predict this stuff just just because I've seen I've had it done to me in the past. So basically, he goes for payback, trying to take advantage of um, the neutrality, uh, neutral damage because um, uh, Delayed can take fighting and rock type attacks like a boss. And, but it still doesn't really do that much because I have a defense boost thanks to bulk up. I go for payback. He goes for payback. I get that leftovers recovery. Yeah, this is basically a bulk up drain punch Gallade. The idea is you play it sort of like Conkledur, where you boost up your defense stat and um, basically proceed to rip crap apart with drain punch as well as restore your own health. But what differentiates Gallade from Conkledur is its um, special attack stat. I mean, special defense. So it can take, so it can sponge special type attacks better than Conkledur can. I still think it isn't quite as good as Conkledur because Gallade doesn't get Mock Punch, but Sh and Shadow Sneak is kind of a poor replacement. But um, Gallade can get shit done, so I like him. He goes for Scald. I don't know why I kept Gallade in on Jellicent. Jellicent is probably Gallade's number one counter. Because Gallade can't really do shit to it. 
So I decided to switch down to Mill Tank. I don't know why I switched down to Mill Tank either. Mill Tank doesn't have scrappy. It's got thick fat. So anyways, Mill Tank gets burned. And he switches out thinking that Mill Tank is scrappy. So I guess that was an okay play. I guess he forced to switch. So that's good. He switches out into his Ferrothorn. And I set up my Stealth Rocks. You, it's kind of late to set up Stealth Rocks, but um, oh well, I'll take what I can get. It's, he's got five Pokemon left, more than enough opportunities to do damage. And I send out my Arsonist while there are Stealth Rocks on the field, which was stupid. Probably should have sent out Tentacruel first to rapid spin the rocks away. But whatever. I go for Quiver Dance, but thinking he will switch out into Jellicent perhaps. But he will stay in and go for Gyro Ball. I don't get it. I don't get why he stayed in and went for Gyro Ball. It works for him because um, that uh, Leech Seed takes the last bit of my health away. I decided to send in I'm a Cut You, my Gallade. So yeah, Gallade's back. He goes for Leech Seed. I go for Bulk Up. So I go for Drain Punch. Takes down quite a good chunk of his health. He goes for Curse. Probably trying to get on the offensive. I'll, personally, I prefer um, a Choice Band set fair, for Ferrothorn as far as offensive Ferrothorns go. But that's just me. He decides to back out of there. Goes into Jellicent. Stealth Rock damage. Knocks it down past half its health. I go for Drain Punch. Doesn't work because Jellicent's a ghost type. So now I get smart and decide to switch out. And I go into Tentacruel. Probably trying to go... I guess I wanted to try and rapid spin the rocks away, but that didn't really work. But that doesn't really work because Jellicent is a ghost type. So he switches out and goes into Red Rook. And I go for Giga Drain. Doesn't do that much. Because Ferrothorn has like a 4x resistance to grass. I think this is another one of those misclick deals. Because, um. I don't know. I'd like to think that I'm smart enough to um, notice that if an attack's not working, I'll switch out. But um, he he leech seeded my Tentacruel, so I guess it's all good. I mean, it does residual damage to him. It was kind of a dumb play. So I guess I decided to smarten up and go for the rapid spin. But for whatever reason, I don't get the... Um, I don't get the rocks removed, which kind of sucks dick. He goes for, I go for Drain Punch, trying to take care of Ferrothorn. And I do, and I get a little bit of my health back. Net, -wide, net health recovery isn't that much. So anyways, he brings out Jellicent. I decide to switch out and go into my Zapdos. He goes for Will-O-Wisp. Zapdos gets burned. And all that kind of stuff. Yeah, this Zapdos is the um, same Zapdos that was in the Battle with Ciliano, the 165 turn Star War. I, wait, I already went over this, didn't I? Yep. Oh, well, whatever. I'll just go for Roost. Roost off that damage. Oh, 
and try to hit Gliscor with Hidden Power Ice. He goes for Ice Fang. I go for Hidden Power. That takes care of Gliscor. So, like, take that, bitch. He switches out into his White Knight, which is a Starmie. He goes for Ice Beam. That takes out Zapdos. Gets that leftovers recovery. I switch out into my Wrecking Ball. Because, I mean, I mean, seriously, doesn't this thing look like a Wrecking Ball? I mean, seriously, it looks like you could just smash it into something. He goes for Ice Beam and I get frozen. It's like, what the fuck? Freeze hacks is never fun when it happens, unless if you, unless if your opponent's the one that gets the freeze hacks. That's always the rule. It's never fun unless if unless if it's not you. I decided to switch out into Got Milk, probably to use Heal Bell and get rid of the freeze status. I go for Ice Beam. He goes for Ice Beam. Doesn't do that much because Miltank has thick fat and is resistant to. Ice Beam. He goes for Rapid Spin and removes the rocks on his side of the field. I go for Heal Bell, so Ferrothorn is unfrozen. Which is awesome because Ferrothorn is a really good Pokemon, at least on my team. He goes for Hydro Pump, that takes out a lot of Miltank's health. I go for Milk Drink, restores most of it but not a whole but not all of it get that leftovers recovery I decide to switch out and go into wrecking ball again Starmie decides to hydro pump it and I'm like bitch your hydro pump can't bitch don't hydro pump me I was frozen today So I go for the Power Whip, it misses! So, Ferrothorn isn't really doing that much this match. It's like, what the fuck? Ferrothorn, get off your lazy ass and do something. So, Ferrothorn dies to the T-Bolt. I switch out into Gallade because Gallade's special defense can uh, pretty much take anything that the Starmie has to throw at it. Or so I thought. I go for bulk up to get my attack and defense boosted. And I try to go for Shadow Sneak. Hoping to take out Starmie. It gets half down, but unfortunately, Gallade will not last. So, yeah. Gallade is out of the match, and I only have one Pokemon left. And it is Miltank, and Miltank cannot do that much. One Hydro Pump from Starmie, and it's all over. And he does go for the Hydro Pump, and it hits, and Miltank is out of the game. So that's the end of the battle. Good job, Ace of Keys. You're a very excellent player. No, regardless of what you say. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the end of the battle. See you all next time, guys.